Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I am very excited for today's video. It's gonna be a little bit different than like what I normally do on my channel, but today I'm gonna scoot in the center of the frame. We have an Amazon favorites video. <laughs> um, when I really got into reading last year, I was ordering a lot of books off Amazon and I sort of fell down a rabbit hole, fell down the Amazon rabbit hole and would pick little things up here and there that I would find on my Amazon homepage and over time, well, we gained a lot of favorites. <laughs> Amazon just, I mean, <laughs> it definitely encourages very bad spending habits, but it is just so easy to order from. And it's like so easy to order just like one thing at a time because of like Prime and free shipping and all the things. It's like easy to just be like, wake up on a Monday morning and be like, I feel like ordering like a small thing off Amazon, whatever. So I have a lot of favorites to share with you guys today. <laughs> and it's not beauty or makeup. It's a lot of like, I'm gonna say self-care products. I've definitely been on a self-care journey. And I have just like fallen in love with trying to create this very habit-based life um, and also ensure that I am practicing self-care. So that is what the majority of these products are. There's some like beauty things and just like there's a lot of random things as well. But these are like truly my favorite favorite, favorite things that I've purchased from Amazon. And this has been over the course of probably the last like six months. If you guys like Amazon favorites videos, leave a comment, a thumbs up, a like, whatever it might be. Let me know what some of your Amazon favorites are. And if you'd like to see more Amazon favorite style of videos, let a girl know. Other than that, if you're curious about the random array of Amazon favorites that I have in front of me, stay tuned. First, if you have yet to subscribe to my channel and you like mostly project painting content or just chit chatting about makeup, I guess the occasional random Amazon favorites video from time to time, <laughs> stay tuned. I totally lost track of where I was going with that. I hope you'll consider subscribing before moving on. Other than that, let's get into my favorites. I do feel very overwhelmed by the amount of products that I have in front of me. So I'm thinking of like, how should I start this out? Maybe we'll start with, I'm not like, I want it to be like kind of like category by category. Oh, I know what we're going to start with because it's the only thing not sitting in front of me, but it's probably my favorite product out of everything that I'm about to talk to you guys about. And it is my hatch. I will maybe try to insert some footage of my hatch, but if you guys don't know what a hatch is, it essentially, I'm gonna say it's like a nighttime routine machine. And you can set it to whatever like you want it to be and let like, you guys, let me just tell you, like having a great sleep routine has truly been life changing for me. I have a very specific bed routine slash bedtime now and it used to be like I would literally like lie awake praying that I would fall asleep and now it's like my body knows like what time I always fall asleep and I'm like I get tired around the same time I have like my nighttime routine is just so much better and I attribute much of that to the hatch and the other part of that I attribute to my therapist telling me you should select a bedtime and then go to bed within plus or minus two hours of that time and it truly has has like changed my life um so my bedtime is 10 p.m and then i just try and fall asleep either two hours before or two hours after like sometime within eight and midnight <laughs> and i will say it's usually like i am sleeping somewhere between like 9 30 and 10 30 every single night but my hatch has been life-changing in this because so what you do is you can set your hatch to like there's three separate settings so you have like your like falling asleep setting which for me is i think it's waves like the sound of waves and then you can set like if you want light to shine if you want multiple different colors of light to shine which i think i have mine fade from like orange to blue and then after i chose 40 minutes for like my falling asleep routine it switches over to like whatever noise you want next and whatever if you want light next no light so i have it switch over to it might be like rain and um no light and then i also have the morning like wake up where i have it like this really bright like white light 
orangey white light and it's birds chirping and it helps me wake up so much easier i just i'm obsessed with my hatch you guys truly like it's such a great product so that is my absolute tippity top favorite of this entire video and then let me move into i'm gonna move into <laughs> teeth care uh <laughs> because i have a very specific oral hygiene routine now that i'm literally obsessed with i used to hate brushing my teeth all things like that and now i like literally look forward to brushing my teeth and all of the things so i attribute my most of my excitement to this right here which i know is such an expensive product but i'm telling you i literally wake up excited to brush my teeth so this is the oral b toothbrush io i don't know what it's i don't know which i'll leave it linked down below <laughs> um but so it comes in this case it also i just think like looks really nice like it's very like modern looking and just even if this were to just be sitting on my bathroom counter like looks really nice i usually put it in the case and put it away but uh so it comes with this and then i have like the two brush heads i have a sensitive and another one i think there's multiple different types of brush heads you can get as well but you set this um you can set your own color too so like when you're brushing so there's an app for this that will tell you like how much time you spent in each quadrant of your mouth. So you can kind of get an idea of like whether or not you're brushing for like the for two minutes and if you're spending 30 seconds in each quad of your mouth, etc. You also can change so it has like a like a light. I hope you'll be able to self tell. Can you see the light? I have mine set to yellow. Anyway when you're brushing if you're brushing with like the correct amount of pressure this light is green if you are brushing with too much pressure it's red and then you can select what color you want for um not enough pressure so it's just really cool and then like <laughs> i don't know if you'll be able to see right there it thinks i only brushed my teeth for five seconds so it's giving me like a frowny face but it times you and every 30 seconds it like vibrates so you know to like switch from this quadrant to like the next quadrant of your mouth and first of all it made me realize that two minutes is actually much longer than i thought but i've also been brushing for two minutes or more at a time and every time i finish brushing my teeth like my teeth feel like i just went to the dentist it's like the most incredible thing ever i am truly obsessed with this maybe almost as obsessed with this as i am my hatch i would hate to give either of them up um also my water flosser <laughs> You guys, I don't even know. My mom convinced me to buy this and I absolutely love it. I hate flossing and you just cannot get me to floss unless there's something like truly wedged between my teeth, which I know is terrible. This doesn't replace flossing, but like it's better than nothing. So this is a water floss or a water pick, excuse me. You fill it with water and then you, again, it comes with different like brush heads, etc., And you power it on and it literally like shoots water. <laughs> between your gums uh or between your teeth and it's supposed to be helpful in some way i don't know how but i love it it also makes me just feel like my mouth is overall more clean and then also uh stainless steel or just a tongue scraper gotta love it this definitely makes me feel less self-conscious about my tongue so had to throw that in ha had to give the tongue scraper a shout out okay sticking with like self-care maybe i'll move into like skincare like I have a terrible skincare routine right now that is definitely something that needs a little bit of work and a little bit of shaping but <laughs> two self-care things like that truly make me feel self care that truly make me feel like I'm literally nailing <laughs> my self-care routine like I'm feeling great about myself um I do they call this a I don't even want it what is this where you like lymphatic drainage <laughs> yourself you know um I love using this i need to use it more because i feel like even right now i'm like my cheeks look so like i just look swollen and puffy i've definitely um gained a few pounds and this just makes me like when i actually am consistent with using this it makes me just feel like my my face looks a little bit more contoured you guys this is also so freaking expensive and i didn't bring my entire like situation over so i can't like show you maybe i can in <laughs> insert some footage of this as well but this is a red light therapy um 
thingamabob. I actually used my HSA card for this. I didn't spend my own cash on this. It's very, very expensive, but red light therapy is supposed to be just so good for anti-aging and also I think anti-inflammatory. Inflammatory. Um, so I've been wanting, I wanted, is it the Juve? The Juve red light? Like I want the whole like shebang for that, which it's like $3,000 for, anyway. I'm gonna go off on a tangent, I don't need to. In the morning for three minutes, I literally like just turn this on, the red light pops on and like, I just shine it on my face. And I feel like I've noticed a difference just in terms of feeling like I have less active breakouts, less acne and not feeling like my skin's tighter yet. Like I feel like maybe I need some real Botox for that, but I really enjoy this. I wanna kinda try this. I feel like I've had like a permanently pulled muscle in my calf for quite some time and I kinda wanna try seeing if resting my calf on this <laughs> helps. I've heard it's supposed to be good for anti-inflammation, inflammatory, like sore muscles, but I haven't tried that. Um, but would love to know in the comments, have you guys tried any sort of like red light therapy device and what has your experience been because I, I've been into that and it just also I use it right away when I wake up in the morning because it's really bright so I feel like it also helps me to wake up and it just makes me feel like I'm like killing my self-care routine so then speaking of self-care routine I also feel like I'm really nailing it when I hit up the body care so not just like skincare but like actually moisturizing my skin because I have incredibly dry skin and a body butter I have come to really love is this pistache pistachio oil pistachio body butter it is a hydrating pistachio body butter <laughs> And I believe it's Danny from Danny's Coffee Break. She's been talking about this product for years and I've been wanting to try it for years. And finally, I decided to order this. And I, she was saying, I can't remember if she said this smelled similar to the Boom Boom Cream or if she just liked mixing this with the Boom Boom Cream from Sol de Janeiro, but it definitely does have a very similar scent to the Boom Boom Cream, but I wanna say this is a little bit sweeter, and I definitely do get that pistachio sort of scent from this. The one thing I will say about this is it smells really sweet when you first put it on your body, but after it sits on your body, or at least with my body and my skin chemistry, it smells kind of like incense, like kind of like earthy incense after it's been on me for like five minutes, which the first two nights, I think maybe I just wasn't expecting it. And it kind of like made me feel a little bit nauseated. But then like day three, I was making my bed and I could definitely smell the like lotion, like the fragrance on my sheets. And I was like, ooh, I kind of like this. And I haven't had any sort of like nauseating feeling since. I've literally been wearing this to bed every single night. Like I've been crushing it with hydrating my body lately. And I just absolutely love this. I think I will still like still purchase at some point my annual Boom Boom Cream because I feel like I like the Boom Boom Cream wearing it out in the summertime because it has like kind of that that glistening sh uh, shimmeriness to it that I really like. So I'll buy like my annual Boom Boom Cream. But this is something I will continue to repurchase for the evening time and will continue to wear to bed every single night because I've really enjoyed this. Okay, I have a few like supplementy type of products, but again, kind of like self carry self care type of products. Um, I've mentioned this before in empties videos. I used to get this at Target, but you can't, I can't find this flavor at my Target anymore. So I've been ordering it off Amazon. It's the Vital Proteins Beauty Collagen. I have been trying to have collagen at least I am not good at doing it every day, but at least like five times a week. I'm trying to be a lot better about that. Um, and the lavender lemon flavor is by, by far my favorite. Um, I really enjoy this. I have tried every single flavor that Vital Proteins makes. I'm telling you, you guys, I've gone through like 10 different containers of different flavors throughout my lifetime. And this is my favorite, personally, my favorite collagen that I have tried and continue to go back to. This is my everyday first thing cup of coffee i uh, the last like two years you guys i just don't like coffee the way that i used to even like vanilla latte like even like starbucks like i'm like mm, i just like take it or leave it not even like not take it like definitely leave it um 
I love my Celsius energy drinks. I love my Alani new energy drinks, but I just do not have the taste for coffee anymore. But this Four Sigmatic, I've also been drinking this for literal years. And I just buy the single serve packs, but you can also, I they might have K-Cups. I know they have like coffee bags that you can buy. I like the Think flavor the best. I also have Defend and they have like matcha as well as like a chai mix as well. This has less caffeine than your average cup of coffee. And I just, it, there's like mushroom corseps is that in this it's instant coffee mix with lion's mane lion's mane and chaga as well as mushrooms i was so hesitant to try this because i am not a mushroom galley but i freaking love this so much i again i have this every single morning i like to mix it with a little bit of creamer but i also drink this black like i don't need any sort of cream or sugar in this and i think it's actually really good um so if you were looking for a coffee that's like a little bit lighter in caffeination um highly recommend this i also i'm obsessed with the uh skinny confidential podcast that's how i originally heard about four sigmatic and they have interviewed the founder of this brand at least once i think twice i think at least twice and it's just really interesting to hear about how this brand was started etc it's a really cool brand and they go into detail about like why there's mushrooms in your coffee and all the benefits etc so love that also speaking of matcha i really enjoy matcha um and my favorite matcha as of this moment can you guys tell i like single serve packets right now but from peak this is their sun goddess matcha and it's supposed to give you radiant skin energy. I don't necessarily know that it gives me radiant skin energy, um, but I really love this. I have been really into matcha banana smoothies where I mix a vanilla protein powder with a banana and this matcha, and I love the way that that tastes. I also just like this mixed with milk, warmed up, cold, whatever it might be. I usually try and have at least one matcha a day. This is also, this brand I believe is also supposed to be really good for gut health. It is more expensive, but in my opinion, it is worth it. They also have a pink, a pink drink that I kind of want to try. I can't remember. I think it, it's supposed to be like a beauty drink. Haven't tried that yet. Interested in it, but again, very expensive. So we'll see. And then the last supplement, this type of favorite right now, you guys, I have gone through so, <coughs> so many of these since i have discovered this this is from ollie it's their goodbye stress keep calm and stay alert gummies i don't know if it's a placebo effect i don't care if it is but i truly feel like these make such a difference in my stress levels like if i wake up there's some days where i just wake up and i have this like just feeling of like like this anxious feeling for no reason not like crippling but i just like have this like feeling of like slight slightly anxious and i'll have two of these gummies and like i feel great i feel so great and i just can't recommend these enough there is gaba l-theanine and lemon balm in these and my sister who is a dietitian approves of these which she is very like she doesn't approve of a lot of supplements so <laughs> i appreciate her for approving that for me what else you guys um just just a random just a random thing i love the corksicle brand in general i have this like water bottle this canteen i haven't even taken the sticker off this one yet but it is this leopard print one um it just keeps your water really cold i just love water bottles i also love my stanley cup i also love my hydro flask um my stanley is actually right in front of me you guys i waited so long to get a stanley because i was like it can't actually be that good i have my hydro flasks that i love but the one thing i do like about the stanley cups is that it sits in a cup holder in my car whereas my hydro flask doesn't and that drives me absolutely insane um but i will say my hydro flask like i can just carry it with me easily whereas this could spill there's just i like different water bottles for different things but i love me cups bottles etc corksicle i like more whoops for um like coffee like if i am running late for work i will put my mushroom coffee in this corksicle and i love it this is like a neon green so like we know i love it so much because i love bright colors um and then this i love for like iced tea 
in the summer, like the canteen type. I mean, I suppose you may, you can maybe put wine in this if you're on your on on the way to the beach and someone else is driving you. You could do that. Um, a few hair products. You can get this at like Target as well as Ulta, but I just have been ordering mine on Amazon because I'm lazy. It's the Not Your Mother's Instant Shine Smooth Moves Lamellar Water. Kelly Gooch made me buy this. She didn't actually make me buy this, but she just is very good at talking me into purchases and she never steers me wrong. She always gives a great recommendation and I absolutely love this. You put this in damp hair and then you rinse it out. So like you literally can be in the shower and do this. It's not like you, you know, there's some like hair masks where it's like you put it in damp hair and then like hours later you rinse it out and it's really annoying. Like oftentimes I'll get my hair damp in the sink. Like I'll literally just like, you know, in the sink because I'm annoyed. This I can just do in the shower all in one. And it makes my hair feel so silky, soft, smooth, shiny. It makes me feel like I'm in like a Garnier Fructis like hair commercial and with like a waterfall in like the Amazon rainforest. Like that is like it, all of that is just encapsulated in this bottle. I will say uh, sometimes I'm good at using this, sometimes I'm not. I really don't try and use this like every time I wash my hair. I really try to just <clears throat> save this for like my Saturday self-care. Like I'm really going in on my self-care. I don't think it's bad if you use this every single time. I just have very thick hair so it takes a lot of product to like coat my hair. Not that this is expensive by any means, but I would just go through this very quickly. If I use this every time I wash my hair, highly highly recommend that product um speaking of self-care saturdays or any day this shower spray i absolutely love have you guys heard about like hanging eucalyptus from your shower head i'm like really into like the zen things like that i think i heard that on the skinny confidential podcast um i also have rocks in my sink based on lauren's like creating a zen space from the skinny confidential podcast my mom was over this weekend and she was like i know that this has been this way for a while but like why do you have rocks in your bathroom sink and i was like mom i'm trying to create a vibe here okay i'm trying to create a vibe um and speaking of instead of hang like instead of buying eucalyptus to hang for my shower because like honestly that sounds like a lot of work for me i bought this shower spray off amazon it is from moxie it's the eucalyptus shower spray and i literally just spray like three sprays of this on my shower wall and it smells like a spa while i take a shower they also have some other scents which i'm interested in trying i will warn you guys only spray like two or three sprays max like it is intense like it like you wouldn't think two or three sprays would go such a long way but it really does but if you're looking to create like a zen situation in your shower or bath i recommend checking that out and then speaking of that zen creation um this way candle i think you can also get this at sephora but i got mine off of amazon it smells like a hair spa or a hair salon I burned through mine so like but I keep this for aesthetic purposes I just like the like stone the natural stone look of this and I kind of want to purchase another even though I think it's like $38 for this I just like the look I like the aesthetic it's like it matches perfectly with the vibe that I'm going for in my bathroom and on Saturday nights I like to like do a face mask turn the lights off have a candle lit and like lay in the bathtub like that is <laughs> that's the vibe you know all right i promise i just have a few more things this next one is super random <laughs> it's a time block timer and i purchased this another recommendation from the skinny confidential podcast i'm telling you like highly recommend the podcast um but i definitely struggle to motivate myself to do things like my folding my laundry and things like that because I think it's going to take me like so much time and then I get like really caught up in tasks like editing a video when I said I was only going to spend like 15 minutes editing and then I was going to move on to the next thing. So this time blocking block is perfect for me because I also realized in therapy that I was experiencing a lot of <laughs> unneeded anxiety that I was putting on myself because I was like I want to do 10,000 things in a day but like how do I do that? This has been life changing. So. If there's a task that I don't want to do or that I do want to do, but I 
shouldn't feel like I'm gonna have, maybe it's a task I wanna do, but I have 10 other things that I wanna do that day. I will literally set like a 15 minute timer and then I will time myself while I'm filling my planner out. And once the timer goes off, like I take a five minute break to just kind of like walk around too. That's something that I also need to be better at is just like taking a, a mental break and not just like, okay, on to the next thing, on to the next, on to the next. Uh, if it's a task like folding my laundry, I'll literally be like, okay, I'm gonna just fold as much laundry as I can in 20 minutes. I finally caught up on my laundry, you guys. I'm hoping it never takes me 20 minutes to fold the amount of laundry that I have again. But I have absolutely loved having this and I feel like it has helped me so much in being more productive, feeling more productive, and just feeling more like in like mentally in the task that I'm doing because I know I'm only doing it for a certain amount of time and then I am on to the next. This comes in different colors too and it was very inexpensive on Amazon. And then the final two products are hair products. Um, These headbands. I don't wear headbands that much you guys but spring I'm just like can you imagine like springtime in New York? These are like Burberry knockoff headbands. I bought it in a five pack. There's also a red one but I love the black and I love the like tan. Also love the pink. And then there's this fun yellow too. Like I just, these are really cute. So had to shout those out. And then I, I wish my hair was like crimped right now so that I could share it crimped or wavy. Um, it took me forever to like jump on the bandwagon to buy an actual hair waver. I used to just like French braid my hair and then take my braids out and call it a day. But adding the waver to that routine has made such a difference. I love a waver wave it's been so i should bust my curling iron back out and like actually curl my hair it's been probably over a year since i've actually curled my hair but for the summer i just like the beachy waves they're just you know love them and i just purchased this one this is the bedhead mess behave this works really well for me i feel like the barrel size is like perfect where it's not too skinny but also not too big that like my hair doesn't hold it i have really thick hair and my hair does hold the wave relatively well but i just feel like it's like the perfect size as well it's fun color and i have really enjoyed that but i think those are all the products i'm like looking around my desk like did i miss anything if i did i can always film another video in the future but those are my current self-care style or just random amazon favorites let me know what are some of your favorite amazon finds down below i swear my mom and i every week will be like this random thing popped up on my amazon homepage, and i absolutely love it like the most random things there's quite a few like random car organization thing like i feel like car things are going to be like where i go next because i need to organize my car clean my car keep the inside of my car clean um so that is where i feel like amazon is taking me next but those are some of my favorites you guys let me know if you've tried any of these products what your thoughts are thank you so much for sticking around to watch and for supporting my channel i love you guys so much and i will catch you in my next one bye